Um, the fence down on where the mechanic shop is, they have a chain link fence. Okay. That oh, that that's line. that's the property line. But uh, okay. yeah, so so that's the property line. But then and then, uh, how do you figure the the safety of the bank? Uh, can can you what legally cut right along that straight up and down or what? We could if that's what the plan showed, but that's not what we're doing. And we couldn't leave it straight up and down because that would create a, a destabilization. Okay. Issue. All right. Great. So what, what we're doing is. Um, when they cut the bank, they're going to install, uh, it's called a, a hill picker flat wall. Okay. Okay, and you've seen these on the side of highways where they have slides, the big mesh looking stuff. Right. Wire. Okay. Okay, so we'll install that, and what that's mostly for is to keep the dirt in check while our workers put in the formwork for the retaining wall. Okay. And so that'll hold the dirt in, if there's a rain it'll be okay, and uh, what'll happen is uh, we'll put a concrete wall there, and it won't look the same, but you see that big concrete wall there along Broadway? Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to be a concrete wall. That's, okay. That's kind of the same idea there. All right. Or that way it won't, it won't destabilize. Now, the reason why we have the engineers involved is because I'm not smart enough to figure out how big of a wall to make it. You know, how robust right. and how much steel to put in it and right. the type of drainage and all that stuff. Okay. All of this is calculated out. And okay. And the engineer who's on the hook for it, uh, he adds to it a little bit to make sure. Okay, great. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. But what you want to look for is like a, a sudden depression, like a portion of your property if it suddenly depresses. Okay. Um, that'll be a telltale sign that the bank is shifting. Okay. Um, and uh, then that'll be a completely different metal. All right, great. Create a response. But in the meantime, I don't think we're going to get close enough to your property line. Okay. All right, great. To, uh, to be an issue. The only place we get close to the property line is, is right there on that corner. But the hill actually moves back away from our work area. As it goes towards the west, okay. or towards the east, rather. So, as it heads towards Fairfield, the bank goes down and it goes back. So it's really just that corner that's kind of jutting out into the what will be the drive-through area. Is what we're taking out. All right. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I just I was just curious because you know I was there and I I, I saw him cutting into that bank and I was a little a little excited, so I thought I'd just <laughs> check in. Yeah, and the guys on the job site will, are usually pretty close mouthed about everything because. We just kind of live in an era where everybody's just looking for something, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm glad you reached out to us. And I'm always, you know, you have my number in your phone. Um, if there's any issues or, you, or you're concerned, you know, just give me a call any time. And okay. And we'll walk through the issue and uh, I'll, I'll see if I can satisfactorily address it for you. But in the meantime, uh, like I said, on Monday, I'll get the engineer's information and send that over to you. All right, great. Uh, do you have my email? I don't, but you now have my phone number on your phone if you want to text it to me. Okay. That'd be awesome. And yeah, what was your last name, Pedro? Sanchez. Sanchez. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Sanchez. Uh, have a wonderful day. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.